Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, thank you for all of your continued love and support. I really appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. This is a timeless collective reading for all signs. Whenever you hear the message, it's when you're meant to receive it. Now, this could be your story or the story of someone else that may be in your energy. Whatever comes out could be related to something from the past. It could be a current situation or it may be a future prediction. Signs and gender are mentioned throughout the reading, but please be discerning. Keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. He could be a she, she could be a he. We all have different signs in our birth chart, all right? So, again, please be discerning. Only take the messages that resonate with you, okay? So, let's see. Let's see, let's see. There's some major transformation happening here. I keep seeing the judgment card. Um, I'm picking up a lot of Scorpio energy here. There's major transformation that is occurring. Yeah, this judgment card, it's not going anywhere, so I'm going to leave it. Bottom of the deck is the judgment card, okay? Nine of Pentacles here. You may be making a final judgment call to break away from a person or a situation. I feel like there's also this energy um, of you for sure like leveling up right now. Having a lot of passion and optimism about you going in a new direction, going towards a new community, a new set of friends, a new set um, of family. Some of you could be connecting with friends or family that you haven't been connected with in a long time. Now, we do have this um, Mercury retrograde and Venus in retrograde energy that is present right now. And I'm making sure that I say that in every reading because I want you to be aware that a lot of things are going to come out in the readings that, to be honest, it has already happened, but maybe now you're just seeing it, getting clarity or confirmation about certain things, or you're just receiving your um, justice in a lot of situations. So uh, some of the, the things that come out, it could it could be hurtful. It may make you a little sad, upset, but just keep in mind the energy is full of these things. For some of you, it's past situations, all right? But um, I do feel this energy of a lot of people for sure moving forward into things that are, you know, wish fulfillment for you. All right. Um, some of you have definitely left friends and family behind and you are now embarking upon a new journey where you're going to be surrounded by all new people. OK, some of you, um, you're going to, you know, a new job. So you're going to be around new coworkers. You could be going to a new city, um, new school just something new is here okay yeah and it's going to be successful you're going to have victory whatever this change is queen of cups is coming out the hierophant the eight of swords wow the emperor Ooh, and the eight. it's so funny to me how we recently had the lion's gate portal and i promise you every day i'm getting at least two eights that come out together here's the eight of swords and the eight of cups so eight, eight here, something is opening up to you guys, or you've made, like I said before, a final judgment in a situation here. Okay. I feel like you guys are going towards God at this time and you are, are kind of putting some type of burden at the feet of, of God at the feet of the most high right now. And just saying that maybe it's something here that you're just not seeing, or you feel trapped in a situation. You don't exactly know what you want to do moving forward. Okay. Let's get our little friends out of the way. <laughs> and this is going to push you in this energy right now, whether male or female, um, and this divine masculine energy of you getting things in order. It's like right now you have to take the lead in your life. So most likely you're moving away from something. I am getting like a relocation energy. Yeah. There's some type of offer here. Some of you are receiving some type of job offer. Um, but there's a, a new beginning where there's going to be stability and security that's coming in for you now that you are choosing to exactly make a final judgment. You're going through an awakening. And with this awakening, it looks like you are dropping a lot of dead weight. Some of you, it's been 10 years of just karma, karmic debts, friends, family, betrayals, deception, heartache, pain, breakups, separations, divorces, financial struggles. And you're finally coming to this place where you're like, okay, enough is enough. Yeah. 
no more regret. I feel like this energy of being regretful is coming to an end. The five of cups. Yeah. And then here's the queen of pentacles with the hierophant. So God is letting you know at this time that you're being given some type of offer or someone is coming towards you with an offer. Um, and this pentacle here, what I feel, especially with the queen of pentacles, there could be a Taurus that's, um, somewhere here or someone has Taurus heavily aspected in their chart. I'm getting someone may for sure have Taurus and Venus. Okay. I don't know where they came from. Um, but Venus right now, when it comes to relationships, so Venus is in retrograde for, for some of you right now, you're definitely getting clarity confirmation. Um, there's something about your, your, your house in love and relationships. This, this kind of like just came at me real hard, whatever this is. There's something here about your relationships, There's something about your, your relationship, your partnerships that's really, really major at this time. And I, again, it's something, I'm going to clarify this page of Pentacles. Something is being clarified. It's being, I'm, I'm hearing illuminated. It's like you're getting the missing piece to a puzzle. You see the, the way this person just kind of has this, this Pentacle there? It's like you're finally going to get the answers, the clarity, the the go ahead, the green light, something that you need. It, it may seem small, but it's exactly what you need. Something, the page for some people, it, it seems almost insignificant, but no, the page of pentacles comes with a very stable offer. It's then what you choose to do with it that really matters. And this is falling underneath the hier the hierophant. So whatever this is, it's being guided by the most high. It's you're being given some kind of leg up. But again, you have the eight of swords here with the nine of wands. This is like I said, enough is enough. Like this being wounded, this being um, the victim, being depressed, being um, confused and the illusions, whatever. This, this is finally phasing out. It has to. Ab absolutely. The Ace of Swords here with the Emperor. Yeah. You're seeing the truth about something. You could be divine feminine, but you could be stepping into this divine masculine energy. For some of you, there's a divine masculine that's in your energy, okay, or in your life or about to come into your life. That is have They have a lot of clarity. This is a very trustworthy, honest person. I feel like I'm hearing the word creative specifically. This person is creative. This person... There's a quote that you, I'm sure most of you have seen it before. I think it says a man with, is it a man with dreams needs a woman with vision or a man with a vision needs a woman with, I think it's a man with dreams needs a woman with vision. You got, there's some kind of like awareness here about a situation. Okay. The king of wands with the eight of cups. Yeah. This is walking away, taking the lead. The king of wands and the emperor is out here. This could be the same person. It's a very strong masculine energy here. This could be a divine masculine for some of you, but I feel strongly that there's a lot of divine feminists who have like balanced their feminine and masculine energy, but you're getting things very organized, structured. Um, you're working on discipline, routines, this is a lot of like grounded type of energy that I'm picking up here. Yeah, the eight of pentacles. Yeah, this is also, I'm hearing nesting. You're preparing for something. But if you notice, look at the cards. The page of, I don't know, I love these cards. Page of pentacles with the eight of pentacles here. You're getting an offer or an opportunity. And if you work hard at this, it's going to turn out to be exactly what you want. If it's a relationship, it could start out as something small. It's going to grow into being exactly what you want. This is a judgment card though. Something is um, awakening within you or another person. For some of you, if this is related to a, especially a romantic relationship, you and another person are, are going through some type of rebirth a transformation you're both going through some type of spiritual awakening wow justice and the judgment absolutely everything is being balanced out everything is being balanced out yeah 
If you've been at a crossroads for some time dealing with a lot of conflict, chaos, competition, jealousy, envy, people sending you the evil, or whatever the case may be. Sometimes the five of wands is not just conflict in your external environment. It's also sometimes your internal conflict. This right here is for some of you things, a, a shadow aspect of yourself that keeps coming up and you're battling with it. And it keeps you at a crossroads, um, unable or, or unwilling even for you to move forward. This situation, whatever it is that has been affecting you in this way, is being balanced out. The cycle here is over. There's a cycle here that's over. Yeah. And then you have the four of wands. The, the world card is you going out, you leaving one cycle and going into a new cycle. And some of you, you're going towards marriage. You're going towards um, stability. You're going towards happiness, joy. There's a lot here to be celebrated. Okay. And whatever the toxic energy is, it's being left out in the cold. Divine intervention has taken place here because I feel like God, like here with the higher friend of the queen of Pen the most high God is saying it's time for you to be happy. It is time for you to release all baggage, move on to peaceful, calmer waters and whatever this heartache. Yeah. Look, I just said heartache three of swords here. This is over. The reading that I had earlier today, I was speaking about some of you have had people in the background, um, past lovers, friends, or whomever had, who have been repeatedly doing spell work on you because their goal was to sit you down. They wanted you in this resting state. They wanted you sad. They wanted you depressed, lonely. They wanted you to have sleepless nights. They did not want you to manifest this healing energy that was going to bring in this abundance, but you're still moving forward here with the chariot and the star. And this is Archangel Michael coming in saying, yes, I'm going to come in and defend you to ensure that you actually have wish fulfillment after so many missed opportunities you've been missing opportunities to be with this king of pentacles here who is most likely your god or dang spouse and have this passion new beginning because somebody was b battling you by any means necessary somebody wanted to steal from you your ability to manifest your ability to be an alchemist your ability to transmute your ability to balance things out somebody around you also does not want you to um this is very specific. When I see this temperance card, this is like the, the energy of two becoming one yin and, and yang. This is earth. It's, um, I'm sorry, it's fire and water. Some of you could be in situations where people are um, not supportive because you and another person are very different in some way. However, that may resonate for you. Okay. Um, you, some of you guys may be in interracial relationships, um, whatever. And you have had people who these are prince. When I see this five of swords, I'm thinking principalities at this point. These are people who are in your family and your friend group and your community that feel like they should challenge whatever you feel is best for you. This is finally being removed from your life. And here comes this person. Here comes this person with this ace of pentacles. Look, death card. This person is coming in with this offer that's going to change your life. However, this is an offer that starts out small. It starts out small, but with time, patience, effort, dedicated effort, it becomes everything that you want. And I'm telling you, it's going to literally change your life. Okay. It's right here. The Knight of Cups comes in with the Ace of Pentacles and the death card. This death is, it, it's a transformation. And when you receive this offer, there's a lot of things in your life that's going to have to end. That's why I said earlier, it's like nesting or preparing. There's things in your life now you have to walk away from it. There's people in your life now you have to stop talking to them. You have to stop going around certain people. You have to stop thinking a certain way. You have to stop entertaining and allowing certain things in order for this to come in. You're now being aligned with, like I said, like your God or dang spouse, your true life purpose. And look at this. What did I just say? Queen of Swords. You have to be very intelligent, analytical, wise, strong assertive you have to have boundaries you have to protect whatever this is it's a ten of pentacles so once again we start out here this this pentacle just grabbed my attention from the very you start out with this pentacle and it's like oh it's small no it's not it's exactly what you've been waiting on some of you right now you're going to literally get to start at ground zero whatever this offer is Okay, whether it's in business, romance, or both, 
If you continue to trust your intuition, this small offer is going to grow to be everything that you want. Some of you for the very first time, maybe you are um, taking a leap of faith to either start a business or to like grow and expand your business. Take your time. Take It's worth the risk because it's going to turn into exactly what you want and so much more. But you have to listen to your own intuition. You have to be discerning. You cannot listen to what anybody else tells you. That's why this queen of swords is here. You have to protect and defend whatever it is that you are building at this time. A lot of people are not going to understand this. Again, your dreams and your visions, they have not been given or shown to anyone else. I don't care how much the enemy tries to lead you to believe that the enemy knows all of your dreams and can read your, your mind. It doesn't. The enemy plays on your mind to figure out how you will react and respond to it. So that the enemy then knows how to continue to attack you. Only God is giving you your dream. People are manipulating, trying to manipulate energies in your dreams. But again, this is where the discernment comes in. And when you have certain people that come around you and they carry an energy that leads to conflict and confusion, you need to keep them out of your space. Because somebody here is constantly trying to get away with throwing off the, the peace, the balance and the harmony that's coming into your life. Some of you, it's been very difficult for you to maintain this level of peace. It's because you need to be mindful of trusting your own intuition. Stop allowing people to convince you that what you're thinking about them or certain situations is wrong. The enemy is going to keep trying to convince you that you're crazy for thinking the truth. This offer here, this, this page of pentacles is leading to, for a lot of you, the king and the queen of pentacles. This to me is mom and dad. This is life partner energy. This is two people who have security, stability. This is earth energy. This is being very grounded, rooted. Okay. You and this person, you lay roots together. You have a legacy. This is marriage. It's commitment. And it's here with the hierophant. Meaning it's being approved by God. And also this is a type of connection where the two of you, you will be able to lead if you choose to other people into a, a very similar connection. Your love is a type of love or your relationship. It will inspire other people. Okay. But what you're leaving behind is this queen of cups. This could be you as a queen of cups that's about to become this queen of pentacles, or you have some queen of cups person in your energy or in your environment, in your circle of friends or your family. This person is devastated. They're in regret. Okay. If it's not someone in your life, it could be someone in the life of someone that you are dealing with now, or you're connecting with, but this is someone's friend, family member, lover, or an ex partner that is in deep regret because someone is finally about to go into a marriage or a serious commitment. And this person needs to be left exactly where they are out in the cold, whoever this is. And you'll know it could be cancer, Pisces, Scorpio person here. This person is in heavy regret. Or this is someone who just they're not optimistic at all about love and the fact that you're going into a serious commitment. It has this person completely in their heads. In fact, this eight of swords, nine of wands. I feel like it's actually this queen of cups person that's projecting this energy onto you. And this queen of cups person could be a male or female. Take it how it resonates. But someone is deep in their feelings and their emotions. And if you notice, you have a man here, a man and a woman here. So like I said, somebody here also, actually, somebody here is sending some kind of negativity towards a relationship. Somebody wants a masculine to be in this wounded warrior up in arms type of energy. And they want this divine feminine to be confused. This is someone, the same energy keeps coming up. Someone is constantly doing some type of spell work, magic, or manipulation on a connection. But there is a masculine here that knows the truth. Ace of Swords. So this Queen of Cups could be a masculine's ex lover. This masculine is seeing the truth about this situation. And they walked away and now they're taking lead. Somebody here is leaving someone out in the cold and they are pursuing now a connection with someone that they want to have a life with. This person, this masculine has put an end to a situation so that they can have a stable, prosperous, abundant beginning with someone else. Yeah, someone here has called 
for justice to be served in a situation where someone has been sending a bunch of chaos and conflict towards a, a connection. It's very clear. This masculine here may work with Archangel Michael or Archangel Michael is here just saying, no, it's time for a situation to finally be balanced. So that they can have, yeah, somebody is very passionate about going towards wish fulfillment, having a happy new beginning here. You could for sure have a cancer out here. Okay, with this chariot card here, but somebody is moving towards victory and success and whoever is doing this magic, they're going to have to sit down. They, they like they have no choice but to stop. This is someone who is angry because they feel like they've missed an opportunity. And this person has definitely been doing breakup, separation spells, binding magic or whatever. Okay, but the most high has come in and said no more. This we're not doing this anymore. No more will someone's happiness be blocked. Every I think the last three readings I've had, I've had eight, eight, and ten ten. You guys could be seeing eight, eight, and ten ten, or this lion's gate portal in order for something of, of great abundance to come into your life, something is being completely closed out. I'm getting ten ten like ten ten like crazy. And here's the tower. Yeah, it's time here's also, the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the Ten of Cups here. So, something is over. Just completely. You guys have a lot of helpers in the background, too. This, this High Priestess and this Temperance card. These are hidden helpers for some of you. But also, too, like I said before. Whatever this King... I'm going to call it a Kingdom Marriage here. This Queen and King of Pentacles with the Hierophant being here. This is a, a, a connection where God is at the, at the head and at the center of it. You and this person over time, like I said, something starts off small, but with work over time, this right here is you and someone both being an earth angel and a high priestess coming together to create some type of legacy. And there's been somebody in the background that has been trying to block this connection for quite some time. It's some karmic Jezebel like energy. You're going to have to stand your ground to this. This is a, a principality or entity of some, some sort. Okay, but you're moving on a peaceful, calm waters. This chapter of your life is finally closed and you are going to receive this happiness. This whatever it is that you want to celebrate for some of you, this is a really great business partner. OK, but for some, this is a, a relationship where you and this person will do business together. I'm seeing you and this person doing like building a home together, doing real estate investments, having a marriage, a, a, a serious commitment. OK, weddings for some of you, you may not even be into a huge wedding ceremony, but I'm seeing marriage here in the cars for you guys, for sure. And it's with someone that you're actually supposed to be with this queen of cups person though this is someone who is sick about this two of pentacles here someone is still juggling two of pentacles and the knight of wands and the lovers Whoever this um, Jezebel-like energy is in the background, this person, what they are doing, they want whoever this masculine is to be confused and constantly juggling. What they're hoping is that this masculine will, will give you this in and out, hot and cold type of energy because this masculine is choosing to be what they divine feminine. So this person is in the background. Somebody is doing so many breakup separation spells. It's crazy. And they're watching and stalking on this situation. This person is inserting themselves into your life. This person, if you notice how this person here is watching the, this person is constantly energetically spying on someone's connection, trying to make it, yeah, in the background. Once again, the moon, cancer, energy, trying very hard to create burdens here, but this person does not want to be seen. Yeah, this is someone who can't let go. Four of Pentacles. They can't let go, so they're trying to block someone's connection. It's not going to work that way because, yeah, the hangman is in the reverse. There's no more delays here. Someone has gone through a full awakening, and I feel like it's definitely a divine masculine here. This person has become fully awakened, and, that yeah, the, the, the will is here. This person is awakened and aware of what's going on, so the spell work or whatever, it's not going to work anymore. Yeah, and it makes perfect sense. So, confirmation. Here's the King of Cups and the Fool. The King of Cups has freed themselves from this Queen of Cups here. Who is devastated and regretful about this connection not working. This masculine has freed themselves from this person. That's confirmation. 
this person now wants to go towards this union where they will be the king of pentacles. It's not just based on emotions or anything surface. It's based on real security and stability. This person is leveling up spiritually. So the king of cups has freed themselves from this queen of cups who's now in regret. And whoever this queen of cups is, to be honest, they really should stop sending whatever this spell work is or energy work to this masculine because this masculine is not afraid to go after this part. This masculine can see this, this energy now. This, this masculine is able to, to fully see who and what is being done in the background to cause delays in their life. Yeah. And this person is walking by faith and not by sight. They're calling judgment on this situation. This person already called judgment to be single, self-sufficient, abundant, and, and secure on their own because they knew that they wanted to go towards new love. And it, I don't even feel like this is a situation where someone is necessarily leaving a person behind to go towards someone. This is just simply a person who has gone through a spiritual awakening. They don't want to be where they've been or with who they've been with. And that's their free will. And someone is trying to literally create this stronghold and bond. look, I just said stronghold, <laughs> strength card. It could be a Leo, Cancer, Virgo out here. Whoever this person is, they come out in every reading. I always get Leo, Cancer, Virgo. And there you have it. Leo and Virgo. Cancer. This person has Leo, Cancer, Virgo. Whoever this feminine energy is, this is a shapeshifter. This person is a shapeshifter. 100%. This is a very, very sh like strong Jezebel-like energy. Jezebel sh sh shapeshifts a lot to carry out conflict and confusion. This person shows up in the readings as Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Queen of Cups. This person is emotionally irrational. And this person is completely out of control because even in a past life, you and this masculine were together and the past life connection is coming back. This person is sick. Somebody here cannot rest. They feel like this person feel like they've been betrayed, like they've been schemed or scammed. But the whole time this person is, is shape shifting and doing spell work and trying to manipulate every situation possible because they want to make an offer to someone. They want someone to make an offer to them, but especially because they don't want this person to make this offer to you. I feel like the offer has already been made. Someone's my, even if you don't know who this person is just yet, whoever this masculine is, they don't want whoever this, this karmic Jezebel energy is. They don't want that person no matter what. And that's what the person doesn't understand that look at this. this is so crazy. Watch this. Look, hold on. Cause I'm having a hard time getting a card. So I picked up this deck. You see, it says here left out in the cold. And the other car is underneath the water. You have a water sign person out here. You could be this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or this person is. Or both of you could be a water sign, honestly. And that could have been part of the reason why this person has been shape-shifting. For some of you, whoever this karmic energy is, they are the same um, sign or their sun sign is like the same element as yours. So when a person is listening to readings, let's say... If they are, if we're saying Queen of Cups and this Cancer Pisces Scorpio, you and this person could both be a water sign or you could both be a fire sign or whatever the case may be, right? Somebody here has been trying to use that to their advantage to try to confuse someone because a lot of people will just say, oh, a water sign. So even if this masculine was listening to tarot readings or getting any kind of spiritual advice, they're like, well, both of these people are water signs. In the beginning, they may not have known. That's if this person is already in your life. For some of you, you haven't even met this person. But there's a water sign out here who has very bad habits. And this person is 100% very much a karmic like Jezebel. And what did I say about something starting small? Here you have the friendship card, that page of pentacles. Something here could start off just like being friendly you and someone could just be soulmates the two of you you could just be learning lessons together but it was a part of your soul purpose to meet this person 
you and this person will be able to spend a, a lot of quality time together, build and grow. And it could, it could definitely become more. Even if it's not romantic, you and this person could become business partners or something. Whoever they have in the background, though, <laughs> is just crazy. This person has someone in the background. And like I said, shape-shifting. A very deceptive person that's constantly telling lies. Someone who is ruled by ego. Someone here who is very, very superficial superficial ruled by ego all about money this person has been wearing a mask and someone has become awakened to the fact that whoever this jezebel spirit is and keep keep in mind jezebel spirit you guys can be a male or female okay i'm i'm seeing in the reading mostly a karmic female but now looking at these car this could also be a karmic masculine that has been spiritually spying on and attacking a divine feminine. Take it however it resonates. Remember, energy is fluid. Gender in the readings is fluid as well, okay? Whoever this is, though, because I there could be a karmic masculine out here also. But this karmic energy, whether it's male or female, the way you will know it is this person is deceitful. This person wants to come off as if they are good, like they're sincere. This person lives a double life. They're ruled by ego. They're very, very superficial. Okay. This person could be into a lot of very toxic things. Okay. Um, drugs, alcohol, bad habits. They could have, you know, really unsupportive friends and family, or they just have the kind of friend. When I say unsupportive friends and family, I'm not saying that this person, I want to make this clear. Somebody here has friends and family that do not support them being on a divine path. Somebody is surrounded by friends and family that want them to be superficial and in their ego. Male or female. They're not encouraging this person to go on to their sole purpose. So whoever was in a connection with this person, whether it was you or someone that you're about to connect with. Okay. Some of you, the, the truth is some of you, you're already connected with this person. However your situation is, you and someone have a soul purpose together. And therefore, the two of you, part of your soul lessons is you've had to let go of these people who are a bad influence in your life. These karmic Jezebel energies, they have to go. And they're, they're going completely crazy now because their mask is falling off. Let me tell you something about a narcissist. A narcissist... The one thing that they never, ever want is to be exposed. Their ego cannot handle knowing that people know the truth of who they are. Wish fulfillment is coming in for you. Trust in divine timing. It says here to wait. Trust in divine timing. Trust the process. Yeah, you have an offer of loyalty coming. Wow. Divine feminine. Oh, divine feminine. You have an offer of loyalty commitment coming okay someone here yeah options someone had an option okay someone had a choice between lovers and they kept having conflict with someone and they're choosing new love this could be you or this other person you're connecting with or it's both of you both of you could be mirroring each other because the awakening card is here so a lot of people in the collective and this is coming out a lot especially in the love readings with this retrograde energy, you have to make a choice. You have a past person, you have a new person, okay? Someone is going to be aligned with you for your south node and your ego, and one person is completely aligned with your north node and your soul purpose. Whichever these situations that you choose to be in, they're both going to require a lot of work. Some of you, you may want to go back to the past, it, or, or whichever these situations, they're both going to require work. It depends on the type of work that you want to do. If you want to go and think that you can fix and heal someone that has no desire to be in alignment with you, that's your business. Okay. Some of you have an opportunity to go and be in a divine connection that is going to require time, patience, effort. Okay. But it's aligned. Therefore, that means it's being protected by God. It's being guided by your angels, your ancestors. Okay, somebody here, and I can't make it up. The card says new love and priority. Some of you, like I said before, you and someone will eventually live together. You will have a family. This person will make the effort. They're going through an awakening. 
both of you are going through an awakening and you're going to be able to celebrate once you learn these tough lessons in self-love and self-worth. Understanding that you do not have to accept the person that's lying to you. You don't have to force yourself to be with someone who is manipulative, toxic, and controlling because they don't want to get away from their toxic friends and family. Some of you have a karmic masculine that carries a Jezebel spirit that may even live at a distance for you. This person is going crazy. They're constantly trying to manipulate you. Okay. They're sending you a lot of telepathic messages because they know that right now you're focusing on healing. Some of you, either you're learning how to meditate more or you're starting um, to meditate. Okay. This earth card just fell out. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So let me say this. Remember before I was saying cancer, Leo, Virgo comes out and somebody is shape-shifting. This energy is picking up a karmic feminine and a karmic masculine. There's an earth sign masculine out here that could be uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But then you have a karmic feminine out here that keeps shifting between Cancer and Leo. This, this um, earth sign though, masculine that I'm picking up on, this person has earth and they have fire somewhere in their chart. This person also has Scorpio on their chart. Spirit, I'm seeing these people very clearly right now. That's why these three energies keep coming out. There's some kind of third party situation, but then something here, and I don't know if it's a past life situation that's coming up presently. There's a, a karmic couple out here. These three people keep showing up. Cancer, Leo, Virgo. And all of these people are shapeshifters, but in this mix of three, there's a couple out here. Uh, this could just be a couple. It feels like there's a divine feminine or masculine being attacked by a couple. And the other um, counterpart in this actual twin flame connection that's coming together is being attacked by their ex. It feels to me what I'm seeing is like divine feminine. You have a karmic masculine that could be in a marriage or commitment with some both of those people are possibly attacking you and your new connection but there's a divine masculine out here who is being attacked or yeah they, there's a divine masculine out here who previously had a relationship maybe with a cancer cancer leo person That person is attacking this masculine and this divine feminine. But this is a strong Jezebel energy. Let's get this very clear right now because this same storyline keeps coming out. Y'all, these are not people that you guys are battling. You're, you're battling against the Jezebel spirit. This spirit is, is a spirit that keeps trying to attack you and whoever your person is. This spirit is using your exes as well as whoever your exes are in relationships with. They're tag teaming you in the spirit to ensure that you do not go into a union. This is the Jezebel spirit, like 100%. This type of chaos, conflict, the drama, the shape shifting, the lying, um, especially the desire for so much control and possessiveness that's Jezebel and you have a karmic masculine out here that carries a Jezebel spirit and a karmic feminine so between these two counterparts who are meant to come together you guys have to defeat Jezebel together you both have been with a Jezebel before Right now, you need to take some time out for healing. You need to really do some shadow work, some deep healing, get it back into your meditation. Okay. Yeah. Look at this competition. That's Jezebel. Jezebel is competing with you. Jezebel is competing with you. Look at this competition chaser. Somebody is determined. It's Jezebel. De Jezebel is determined to take whatever kind of family it, it is that you have. Wow. 
But see, somebody loves you. That's the reason why you're being attacked. Somebody loves you and wants to marry you. I feel like a lot of people, yeah, and it's safe for you to love this person. A lot of people who find, wow, pregnancy and blessings, wow. I'm telling you, whoever this new love is, they come bearing the gift of holy matrimony, marriage, commitment, fertility, blessings. And right here in Mercury Retrograde, who do you have back here? Jezebel. This person wants to create a third party situation because they know that someone has left them behind. And this person is making plans to offer you this unconditional love. Could be a fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This person has a crush on you. And it's look at this coming soon. What did I say before? Something here is going to start small. This person, you may not even know them yet. They're watching you, though. They have their eye on you. I feel like you do know this person. It's just, it's not like a relationship. This person knows you. And, and the, to be honest with you, they love you. They love you. And here we have mirroring. Look at them as if they are you. Whoever this person is, the two of you both have to defeat this Jezebel energy. This Jezebel spirit is really, really trying hard to get your marriage, your commitment. You know, in the readings and just whatever, we see the third party situations and these karmic energies. But Jezebel is using all of these karmic energies from your past to continue to attack you. That's all this is. It's Jezebel. Yeah, and you're leveling up. See, for a lot of people who have like these kingdom marriages, you can be assured that if in fact you are about to go into this union, you ha it's almost like it's part of the design, the plan. You have to battle Jezebel. Jezebel does not want to see a divine feminine have a divine union. If you lose against Jezebel, Jezebel is going to rob, steal, kill, and destroy all things great in your life, all of your fertility, all of your blessings, um, pregnancy, family, having a faithful, committed partner. Jezebel is going to attack both the divine feminine and divine masculine. Jezebel wants the divine masculine for him or herself or however, like I said, and in between this twin flame connection for a lot of you, again, you and your person both previously were with a Jezebel. It's a mirrored soul. So whatever type of situation you had in the past, most likely they did too. If you've been with a Jezebel, they've been with a Jezebel. This is going to work out for you though. Yeah. Some... <laughs> Something has to come to a complete end. I just said something has to work out for you. Wow. <laughs> balance. But it's in the reverse. A situation needs more balance. This situation, in order for it to become balanced, something has to complete come to a complete end. And you're going to get the missing piece. The missing piece is that you have a Jezebel spirit and energy that keeps on astral traveling into your, your energetic field. So a lot of you could have, yeah, look at that Jezebel. This is some kind of Jezebel incubus succubus like energy that's having sexual fantasies about you. Somebody could be doing sex magic, but someone has a lot of deep, deep emotions for you or your person and they're astral traveling yeah, you have to kick this person out of your energy. For some of you, the reason why you keep battling this Jezebel is because you are you have a toxic family. This Jezebel has been assigned to you because of something in your family. Oh, we this this reading is like really tapping in, uncovering some. Some of you, your family, there is a Jezebel incubus succubus energy that is in your your bloodline in your family, and it has chosen you now to attack. And this part, th this energy now is almost like it's blackmailing you. It's like this energy is trying to make you think that if you do not give up this fight, that you're going to be trapped in 
heartache, pain, and, and you're going to be suffering forever. It's because you have a connection here that's meant to be. So this Jezebel, Incubus, Succubus energy, it could be all of them. It's really trying to get you to become like this coward and not actually go to battle with this energy. Wow. This is, this is something that you, this is like a, a bloodline curse or hex that you've inherited and you you're, you're going to have to get Jezebel out of the bloodline. Something significant about Christmas. Someone wants forgiveness. And then you have here manifest. Why does it feel like for some of you with this Christmas here, something here about family, somebody in your, you guys may find out something about a person in your family. There's some kind of secret that's going to come out and the information could leave you shook. You guys may find out that somebody in your family was once like arrested for doing something really dark and in doing something really dark. This is how you got this, this Jezebel incubus succubus like spirit, how it entered into your family. And that's the reason why you tend to manifest connections with toxic, codependent, narcissistic like people. Somebody here is really holding back some kind of information about something. Yeah. And you're going to have to just leave this behind. Thanksgiving. Halloween. Wow. October, November, December. The next like three months are very significant. You're going to have, I feel for a lot of you, there's something or someone in your family that you're going to have to leave behind. Somebody has a very, like, there's a family secret, something dark or wicked in a family. Libra, Scorpio, Capricorn. But we're about to go into the fall, like holiday, holidays, you think about fellowship, family, gatherings. I'm, I, this is something very specific and it could be triggering. The, at a family gathering, something has happened within someone's family. At a gathering, somebody has eaten or dr like drank something. Somebody was having sexual fantasies about someone that I was, I'm going to say was off limits to them. And this submerged emotions. Somebody has some kind of deep fantasy or something. And it was foul. It, it wasn't right. At some kind of family gathering here, somebody has been doing something that they had no business doing. And looking over here at these two pages, possibly with children. This is a secret in the family, though. This is a family secret. Somebody in the family is an incubus, succubus like energy. They've done something with or two children that they were not supposed to be doing because of sexual fantasies and somebody blackmailed a person. Oh my gosh, where is this going? And around Christmas or the holidays, somebody is going to be trying to apologize for this because they are afraid that they're going to be arrested if, when this secret comes out. Oh my goodness. This, this may not, if I'm saying children, this could just be someone like an incubus, uh, succubus like energy. I'm getting more like incubus. Somebody here has, has possibly been dealing with people who were either very young or underage. And it feels like looking at this submerged emotions, someone has been concealing this information. Somebody could have been kicked out of a family. 
this is somebody's story. Somebody is the black sheep in their family. They were kicked out because something happened to them within this family. It could have even been a friend of the family, whoever. Somebody has been violated here. And it's something about food and drink. It almost feels like somebody was under the influence. Like somebody has given somebody under age. Like, and, and earlier we saw they car bad influences and toxic family. This is giving like somebody growing up just too fast doing things way before their 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 time their age but they were led to do this and now with this toxic family somebody's going to get kicked out and and some kind of truth is going to come out the information may leave you shook somebody here is blackmailing somebody they don't want this information to come out I don't know. This really took a time. I don't know if this is like a whole nother situation or because we, we we're picking up on like this, these karmic energies. I feel like what spirit is doing right now is spirit is letting us know this karmic Jezebel energy that has been attacking you or your person this person has like an incubus, succubus, Jezebel spirit attached to them because of something in their family. I don't really feel like this is perhaps my viewer, you, divine feminine or mask. I mean, it could be. I feel like this is a backstory to why this karmic person has been doing whatever they've been doing. Somebody here comes from... A family where there has been a lot of secrets and a lot of toxicity this person has become obsessed with you or your life in some way they're they're obsessed with you so this person is spiritual they've been astral traveling and and doing a lot of things to try to get into your energy this person doesn't feel like they can be loved because I feel like whoever this karmic is, is the one who has been violated. But it also feels like this karmic could have been violated at some point and then they went on to violate someone else. Keep in mind, you guys, this could have been something that already happened. You may just... This may just be a confirmation for you. For some of you, this person isn't even living anymore. I, looking at this dead card, this person isn't even living anymore. Blockages. Look, it's in the reverse. Fork in the road, it's in the reverse. Tarot reading, it's in the reverse. So something here, this is amazing. Whoever this is, this karmic person, this energy that has been attacking you for so long, this person is very, very hurt because of the ways that they've been violated by their family, okay? This person has a lot of skeletons in their closet. This is someone who was abused, who went on to become an abuser. They are attacking you, okay? You have a soul tie with this person, all right? You may not have known they had all this craziness in the background. This person is obsessed because they feel like you're the only person that can truly love them for who they are, all right? But they've been doing everything to keep you bound to them. Tarot reading is in the reverse. Fork in the road is in the reverse. Blockages and obstacles is in the reverse. Whatever this person has been doing, it's over. This person cannot watch you or spy or monitor you anymore through tarot. They can't keep you stuck 
they can't cause any blockages in your life. Yeah, look at this. Confusion is also in the reverse. This, whatever this on long spell is, it's over. Somebody here, this person has had you stuck in the past. This may have been someone here who you and this person could have had very similar experiences. I'll be honest, for a lot of you, this is a trauma bond. This was someone that you trauma bonded with. You may not have had the same exact trauma, but there was some kind of trauma bond between you and this person. This person got obsessed with you. And this is someone who never wanted to take time out for self-reflection. They never wanted to go get therapy. They never wanted to cleanse their space. They don't want to listen to any type of guidance. They, they jump to conclusions. This person has had all kinds of addictions and all kinds of stuff. And most likely you turn this person down because they're entirely too stubborn. But it never stopped this person from desiring you. You turn this person down. So you trauma bonded with some type of incubus, succubus, Jezebel-like energy. Or you trauma bonded with someone, created some kind of soul tie with them. You just didn't know perhaps like the secrets that this person had within their family and everything else. This person's family has some very deep, dark secrets. It feels like, um, remember I said before, like a family hex, this is something in this person's family that is kind of passed down from generation to generation. I feel like God got you out of this, especially for those of you, if you were thinking about having children with this person, God removed you from this situation for a reason, because there's something in this person's family and their bloodline where it, it's a cycle it's a hex that was going to continue with you but you were removed from this person however this person is still very much obsessed and addicted to you and it's very very sexual it's very sexual with this person it's because this this is someone there's a lot of sexual immorality this person could have the type of family where there's just a lot of, you know, sexual immorality. There's adultery, fornication, all that just, it's dark. It's wicked. You may not have known that about this person, but I feel like God got you out right in time, especially because there's a lot of energy or fertility and children. There was something here. Um, somebody here could have a brother. This could be somebody here who has a brother these 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 boys yeah it's something not right this rejection was protection but this like i said this person they continue to be obsessed hidden truth someone is hiding from their true self It's like somebody has to just face the music of who they are. And the truth is, somebody here, they're, 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 um, they're cursed. They're wicked. It's in their, it's in their blood. And that happens, you know, it's, it's just something dark within this person. This person, this person has like some kind of sexual addiction. It's just what it is. Wow. Sexual addiction. And this person was lying. This person has sexual addiction. They do black magic and they've been lying. And something told you you needed to proceed with caution with this person. Wow. Wow. Yeah. This is someone who has possibly tried to like find other people that they thought look like you i feel like this person has photographs of you they literally go looking for people that look like you or make them feel like you but they can't seem this person is addicted to you and i i hate to say it but it's um this person is sexually addicted to you You're not celebrating with this person. You've left this person behind. And now this person is caught up. Their actions of the things that they've done behind the scenes are 
catching up to them and you're going through a transformation this person if they've been trying to have a level up off your energy they can't upgrade is in the reverse you're fired <laughs> this person is completely out of your energy this person was able to get in your energy at a time in your life when maybe you didn't know how to recognize signs and symbols you didn't know certain about karmic cycles and you were not guarding and protecting yourself they became obsessed with you because they hid who they actually are but this was a part of your life purpose you had to learn this i'm gonna leave it here you guys i hope that this gave you a bit of clarity or confirmation about this situation um you know i would say for this person this person could be someone who for sure had like a hard knock life or they just come from a very wicked family where there's a lot of things hidden. This person is someone who has been fighting against their own nature. OK, and they have addictions. All right. Um, and I feel this is someone who possibly has like parents who um, also have a very like addictive personality. You trauma bonded with this person and just offer them genuine love and they could never, ever let that go. All right. They feel like you're the missing piece to their life puzzle. And so because they are so addicted, this person got addicted to your energy. This is someone who also practices black magic. So they've gotten addicted to, and most likely it's a lot of sex magic. This person has gotten addicted to doing black magic, sex magic, most likely on you. Um, but this person also, I feel, is addicted to you energetically, but it's for sure sexually as well. Or if you if you're if this is someone from your past, you may have noticed that this person was very like sexual with you. I don't know. It's something about this person. It's definitely going to be a Capricorn out here. Capricorn. This reading, we picked up a lot of different energies. For some of you, this is that karmic masculine that has been in the background. They don't have to be Capricorn. Okay. They could be any sign, but I'm definitely picking up. A masculine that has earth, fire, and Scorpio in their chart. What did I say? I said Cancer, Leo, Virgo. Wow. And for some of you, what's so crazy is either this person's time is about to be up or this person is no longer here for some of you. I'm picking up somebody here who is no longer here. I keep saying that coffin card. For some of you, this person. And I looked over at this other card on my other deck here. <laughs> Magician. For some of you, this person is going to take themselves out because of black magic. I'm serious. For somebody here, whoever this is attacking you, and this could be a past situation. Somebody's black magic is going to backfire and it may take them out of here. I'm trying to get out of this energy, but there's still more layers to it. Remember I said before. Okay, remember I said before that somebody out here, there's a, a couple. This masculine that we're picking up on, this person is was in a relationship with someone else and the both of them were attacking a divine feminine. Now, that, that Jezebel feminine, because you got an incubus, and this is like an incubus and a succubus that came together. Okay, they're in a karmic relationship. This masculine, I can see that person clearly here, but you have a karmic feminine out here also. Cancer, Leo, Virgo, could be any sign. 
somebody here is in bad hell and i can remember channeling a message where i said somebody is going to hell and somebody is going to jail i feel like it's this couple it feels too like somebody literally is like spell work is going to backfire or there is some type of od like situation but see this person has not been working alone in these attacks Whoever the other person is, they're still out sending out these attacks. And I feel like this is happening primarily to a divine feminine. There's a divine masculine who's being attacked by an ex. But it's nothing like the, this karmic couple that has been attacking this divine feminine. This karmic couple is an incubus and a succubus energy. And they've been possibly like sending out the energy of Jezebel. But, you know, when you think about signs and symbols, you have to also keep in mind that if you're fighting to go into a relationship, like I told you, that third party interference is not just what you see in the earthly realm. You're fighting against an entity, a principality. You have Jezebel using these karmics, this karmic couple to attack you. That's another way, though, that Jezebel is trying to hide him or herself by making you focus on these people and not this actual spirit. Somebody is in bad health, mental health for sure. Wow, this is a lot. Somebody is sick or somebody made themselves sick. The reading that I posted earlier today, though, I said somebody literally like their time is up. And you know what? One of these people in this couple is, um, they're still hiding. I feel like somebody in this, this couple has already gotten in trouble, gotten sick or something. The other person is still hiding because they know that it's coming for them too. You have the mature man and the privileged lady. Distant horizons, mature woman. Mature man and the mature woman. For some of you, this is what's coming in for you. But we have this privileged lady here. This privileged lady, what I'm getting, this is someone who has resources. And I'm not even picking up that this person has financial resources. I'm picking up this is a privileged lady that for sure. Hold on. This privileged lady, let me tell you what their resources are. This privileged lady is working with someone, a, 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 a priestess, dark priestess or somewhere else across the water, as people say. This person is going to someone in another place to have spell work done on this divine feminine and masculine. Hold on. I'm seeing that I'm getting so many messages. I'm seeing that, but I'm also seeing that this is a couple, mature man, mature woman. There's a divine feminine who lives at a distance from these people. They're doing spell work on this divine feminine who is already privileged on their own. Yeah, because this man is sick and devastated that they can't be with this divine feminine. This person already chose to be a part of a community, to work with a community, maybe a coven or whatever with this false person because they wanted to become wealthy. Now this person is stuck in this situation in bad health, could have contracted a situation or they're stuck and bound because of a child. And you most likely could have a main male coming into your life. They're trying to put an end to this. This is like I said before, just pure hatred, jealousy, and envy. Somebody here has messed up their life and they are hell bent on destroying yours. Especially divine feminine. This is a mature man and woman for some of you at a distance. You're going towards a main male. Okay. Privileged lady. They're trying to everything to put an end to any of your new connections. 
you have somebody, like I said, in despair. This karmic masculine is in despair because they decided to work with this false person who was a part of some kind of cult group, coven, um, secret society, whatever. They chose a, to be in a committed relationship with this person. They could have made money with this person. They could have children with this person. They probably have some kind of incurable disease, to be honest with you. They're sick and they're stuck. This, oh my goodness, like spirit is telling us all these people business. Wow. These people are stuck together. That's why we saw that blackmail car earlier. Somebody here has something that they cannot get rid of. And if they leave this person, this false person, this false person is going to tell an entire community about this person's secret. So now that this person is upset, this masculine, that they chose this other person over divine feminine, they're stuck with this person because of children or a secret that they have about children that could possibly lead them to jail or they're stuck because of diseases or whatever the case is. It's a lot of shady stuff behind the scenes. They're trying to destroy everything that comes in for divine feminine. And I feel like this person is in a way playing victim because they're trying to, like we just saw, what this person is saying is that they want some kind of mercy because they were abused. This person was abused as a child. It's something in their family. They were violated and abused as a child and they could have done the same thing to someone else. They went down a totally different path though. They, they did not want to do the healing work. They sacrificed the connection with the divine. But see, this was this wasn't supposed to happen anyway. But look at what's happening now. The wealthy man is about to go through a change and he's concerned about it. And what's about to happen is this wealthy man in this connection who did all of this stuff to this privileged lady. Karma is coming back around. This person knows that they're about to be in poverty. And while this person is in, in poverty, you're about to go on a journey where you're going to finally have a family, be happy, a marriage, commitment, business, whatever it is that you want. You're going to it's a, some type of contract that brings you high honor. And that's what this person is constantly trying to sabotage because they've gotten their walking papers. It doesn't matter what kind of soul contract or tie you had to this person. It's over and done. And this person literally is like in the spirit battling, like fussing, fighting, arguing. They are upset. They feel like they should have a way to, to change this final judgment. Remember the judgment card kept coming out in the beginning. The final judgment is in. This person has been completely removed from your life. It's a forbidden connection now. They can't come towards you no matter how bad they want. This person has an incurable disease. This person's nasty lifestyle has caught up with them. They chose to work with this false person in the community. Now this person feels in prison because they're like, well, if the truth comes out, everybody's going to know it. These two people have vowed to stay together because of the sick things that they've done together. They're blackmailing each other. They're locked in. So for some of you, when it comes to you having more than one choice in love, whoever this past person is, oh, they're bad news. This person comes with all kinds of drama. You see it in the cards. And this person has the nerve, the audacity to do everything in their power and outside of their power to try to stop you from moving on. But again, this person is addicted to you. They're obsessed. This person is obsessed with you because of your unconditional love. In this person's mind, they feel like even with everything that they've done, that they've gone through and that has happened, everything that they've even caused to happen for other people, the one person in this life that will forgive them and still love and nurture them is you. So what this person is doing now is they're reflecting on this unconditional love that you once had for them. 
and their hope is that they can get out of a situation and come and come in for that. But let me be honest with you from what I, they don't plan to get out of a situation because they're blackmailed. They're being blackmailed. They're stuck. They're they're being held hostage by this Jezebel karmic succubus incubus energy. They can't get out of this situation, but they also cannot release you. This person wants you to feel sorry for them because of something that happened to them in their past. Now this person is playing victim. Oh, this happened to me in my childhood. And then as an adult, I decided to do the same thing. I left you. I betrayed you. And you you know your, whatever the story, all the things that they did. Now, now that they're old, they're sick. <laughs> And they're not having fun anymore with the karmic. What do you think? They want to go to the good guy. They want to go to the good girl. For you to clean up their mess. That's so unfair. And for those of you who feel like you have to accept this, you really need to do your shadow work and healing and understand this is not your portion, honey. This is, you don't have to deal with this. You don't. This is sick. This is someone who is addicted to power, control, and sex. And at one point, they were receiving all of those things from a connection with you. This is a trauma bond gone wrong. And you may have healed and released, but they didn't. Wow. Wow. I mean, everything just came out on this table. Everything I said literally in, is in the cards. Eight, eight, ten, ten. Judgment and justice is here. Between now, the month of August and October, there's about to be some huge changes to occur in someone's life. The reading that I posted earlier today, I literally said somebody's time is up and they know their time is up because every single person that they have hired or sent to sabotage your life in some way, they're seeing those individuals suffer. They know that it's only a matter of time before their karma comes and bites them. And we're in Mercury retrograde with Venus in retrograde, everything that somebody has been doing in the dark, oh, it's just a matter of time before it comes back. When everything goes direct, this person is going to be destroyed for old and new. Let me see something. August, September. So this is a timeless reading, but just for reference, today is August 15th. The Leo new moon is tomorrow, August 16th. Mercury retrograde begins on August 23rd. That's seven days from tomorrow. I may post this video on the 16th. Okay. Then you have Pisces full moon. You know, Pisces is very psychic and intuitive. So people's intuition is about to be extremely heightened with this full moon in Pisces. So make sure that you're protecting yourself because people are going to definitely be doing spell work on your third eye and your crown to try and block the truth from coming out. Then we move into September. Venus retrograde is going to end September 3rd. Mercury retrograde ends September 15th. Pluto retrograde begins October 10th and October 14th Libra season starts when I tell you whoever this is they messed up they messed up bad and they th this is somebody that's been getting away with stuff for a long time I'm telling you the time is up somebody's time is up somebody can no longer be hidden shielded they can't run around in the spiritual realm incognito no their time is up this person is going to be in poverty for everything that they've done this person's family 
is in poverty or will be. If this person is someone who has been trying to provide for their family, them and every person that is under their care at all is going to be in poverty. The change that's coming is an ending. Everything that this person has built is ending and somebody is going to jail. You got jail and hell out here. Bad health with the courthouse. Somebody is possibly going to lose their kids. I hate to say it, but it's the truth. So somebody is about to get quite the reckoning in their life. Why? Because they, they want to keep on going against your, your contract. This person, everything that they've done to block you from being in a relationship, married, or having a business or whatever, it's going to come and hit this person at one time. I just looked at the TV and on Netflix, it says heart of stone. This may be somebody who thought they had a heart of stone. I'm telling you, they're about to get broken down now all the way. They're going to think your ancestors are barbaric the way that they're about to swoop in on this person. Step out of your comfort zone. North No, Yeah. Luck is on your side. Boom. New moon in Sagittarius. Sagittarius season will be coming around in late November, if I'm not mistaken. So you guys right now, make sure you focus on your healing, your protection. Let these situations just play out. This retrograde energy, let things play out. Let Venus and Mercury go back direct. Let Libra season come in and give you your justice. Hopefully, luck is on your side, okay? <laughs> It's a time to give rather than take. And don't let your past hold you back. Full moon and Taurus. I told you guys, it's a Taurus Virgo out here. Somebody has Taurus or Virgo in their chart. It's an earth sign person out here. Hold your, look at this. Prosperity lies ahead. Somebody did everything for money. I bet they regret it now. Hold your vision. This person refused. To let go of whatever this get rich quick um, money magic, sex magic scheme is they had. They refuse to let it go. But Spirit said it's okay because your hard work is paying off. And this person is hoping that you will give them mercy right now. That's what they're really wanting. Because they know. They know. But Spirit said it's time for you to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio and a new start is coming. Nothing will come of this situation. Those of you who are still believing that you're supposed to be with this person and, and save them. No, you need to believe in the impossible that something amazing is going to happen to you when you fully let this situation go. You have a win win outcome forecast for your life. But you have to be confident enough to show the world the real you. And I don't think that the, the, the true version of who you are is someone that should accept this type of foolery. You know, I, I feel like, you know, send a person love and light, especially for those who have been violated, hurt in some type of way, for sure. But this is not the time for you to make excuses for all of the things that this person has done to cause you and others to suffer. This is a, a very just dark, wicked, malicious, evil person that has been hiding and fronting and putting up a facade for a really long time. And they have not worked alone. This person has had the help of friends, family, and their lovers. And somehow this person has managed to manipulate other people to attack this divine feminine this is like a part two of the other way i'm telling you in the reading that i did before when i said someone's time is up because they're noticing that everyone that they hired or worked with or every person that they lied on divine feminine to or masculine whoever you yourself, especially if this is like a group of friends or family, you're going to notice that every single person 
around this particular friend, family, or, or lover of yours that has been secretly hating on you, every person connected to them is going to go through hell. And this person may find themselves in actual hell. You're, I'm t it's like person, like every individual person is going to receive some type of karma. If they ever so much as even spoke on your name with this person, listening to their lies, the slander, the deceit, because this person was cursed and sick and wicked, every person that went along with this is going to suffer. Every person. And there's somebody in this energy, in this reading, and it's been coming out like this for the last year. Somebody keeps on trying to hide the fact that they were involved in whatever this scandal is, their day is coming. Somebody's card is going to be pulled. It's a person that I'm telling you every time this situation comes up. I know it came out in the last retrograde readings months ago. Somebody is constantly trying to hide the fact that they were just as involved with this person because somebody out here, you know them. It's a friend or a family member that worked in cahoots with someone else that you know that became your biggest enemy. They want to act like they don't know what's going on. No, they do. And you're going to find out because something is coming to a complete end. And when this person gets their karma, I promise you're going to know exactly who was behind it. So you, I would say brace yourself because it may be shocking. I just looked up there to see it's painkiller. It'll be a painkiller for you though, because I'm telling you, once you find out the, the real truth about this, your, your days of pain and suffering will be forever gone. It's when it comes to this situation, you guys are at the very tail end of finally closing a chapter of your life for good. And I hear spirits that, and we're going to make sure that happens by any means necessary. Nobody can run. Nobody can hide. And nobody can um, outrun death. So I don't, I don't know who this is. They keep trying to not face this ending or not face some type of judgment. No. You're going to pay the price for this. If you, I'm telling you, if you guys really, you do know, because I know this story resonates with a lot of people. The things that these individuals have done in the readings that we've seen for the last several months, the womb magic, the fertility magic, the sex magic, the money magic, the sacrifices, the rituals. Oh, it's time. It's payback time. The scales have to be balanced. For all the Libras, the Libras are coming in strong this year doing everything that they're supposed to do. I can guarantee Libra season is going to be one to remember this year. Nobody will forget this Libra season. Ever. I've seen it. I already know what's coming. I, I guess just being decent. May God have mercy on their soul. <laughs> the world, it's over. It's really over. We'll look at King of Pentacles. Whoever this King of Pentacles is that keeps trying to hide this Capricorn Virgo Taurus, it's over. Baby, look, ego, the devil. This person is the devil. Could for sure be Capricorn. Or they have Capricorn in their chart. But whoever they are, I feel like it's a Capricorn and somebody else, though. I feel like it's a King of Pentacles. I, there's a Taurus, Virgo, and a Capricorn, I feel. These people, I'm telling you, they're hiding in these readings, y'all. I can feel it. Like, I can see far beyond just these cards. There's a Capricorn here that is of significance, but there's a Taurus masculine out here as well. They're both. This is two people who have for sure done some terrible things to a divine feminine. And one of them, the, either this Capricorn or this Taurus, they're trying to stay hidden and act like they had nothing to do with this. Yes, they did. Some of you, you've only seen 
or gotten confirmation about one person. The reason why these stories keep coming out like this about this situation is because somebody has still not yet been exposed. That's the only reason why. This is like three readings in one. I, You guys can unpack it. Take what parts of the story resonate with you. Spear had a lot to say today. So that it is what it is. Make sure you go within so that you never go without. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I love you guys so much. I'm sending you lots of peace, love, light, healing, harmony, all that good stuff. Because <laughs> everybody needs it. Um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. <laughs> Bye.